Deuteronomy 29.10-30.20 through 30, 20. You are standing today, all of you, before Yahweh your Elohim. The heads of your tribes, your elders, your officers, all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and the sojourner who is in your camp, from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water, so that you may enter into the sworn covenant of Yahweh your Elohim, which Yahweh your Elohim is making with you today, that he may establish you today as his people, and that he may be your Elohim as he promised you, and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. It is not with you alone that I am making this sworn covenant, but with whoever is standing here with us today before Yahweh our Elohim, and with whoever is not here with us today. You know how we lived in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the midst of the nations through which we passed. And you have seen their detestable things, their idols of wood and stone, of silver and gold, which were among them. Beware, lest there be among you a man or woman or clan or tribe whose heart is turning away today from Yahweh our Elohim, to go and serve the gods of those nations. Beware, lest there be among you a root bearing poisonous and bitter fruit, one who, when he hears the words of this sworn covenant, blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall be safe, though I walk in the stubbornness of my own heart. This will lead to the sweeping away of moist and dry alike. Yahweh will not be willing to forgive him, but rather the anger of Yahweh, and his jealousy will smoke against that man, and the curses written in this book will settle upon him, and Yahweh will blot out his name from under heaven, and Yahweh will single him out from all the tribes of Israel for calamity, in accordance with all the curses of the covenant written in this book of the law. And the next generation, your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, will say, when they see the afflictions of that land and the sicknesses with which Yahweh has made it sick, the whole land burned out with brimstone and salt, nothing sown and nothing growing, where no plant can sprout, an overthrow like that of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which Yahweh overthrew in his anger and wrath. All the nations will say, Why has Yahweh done this to this land? What has caused the heat of this great anger? Then people will say, It is because they abandoned the covenant of Yahweh, the Elohim of their fathers which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, and went and served other gods, and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known, and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of Yahweh was kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses written in this book. And Yahweh uprooted them from their land in anger, and fury, and great wrath, and cast them into another land, as they are this day. The secret things belong to Yahweh our Elohim, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Chapter 30 And when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where Yahweh your Elohim has driven you, and return to Yahweh your Elohim, you and your children, and obey his voice in all that I command you today, with all your heart and with all your soul. Then Yahweh your Elohim will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you, and he will gather you again from all the peoples where Yahweh your Elohim has scattered you. If your outcasts are in the outermost parts of heaven, from there Yahweh your Elohim will gather you, and from there he will take you. And Yahweh your Elohim will bring you into the lands that your fathers possessed, that you may possess it. And he will make you more prosperous and numerous than your fathers. And Yahweh your Elohim will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, so that you will love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. And Yahweh your Elohim will put all these curses on your foes and enemies who persecute you. And you shall again obey the voice of Yahweh and keep all his commandments that I command you today. 
Yahweh your Elohim will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground. For Yahweh will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers, when you obey the voice of Yahweh your Elohim, to keep his commandments and his statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you turn to Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment that I command you today is not too hard for you, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will ascend to heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart, so that you can do it. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of Yahweh your Elohim that I command you today, by loving Yahweh your Elohim, by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments and his statutes and his rules, then you shall live and multiply, and Yahweh your Elohim will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away, and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the lands that you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life, that you and your offspring may live, loving Yahweh your Elohim, obeying his voice and holding fast to him, for he is your life and length of days, that you may dwell in the land that Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them.